Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it definitely seems at times like a lot of the actors that star in the movies and the overall MCU kind of, in one way or another, have a dynamic with each other where it's almost like they act like their family. But every once in a while we get those special moments where we get to see the cast of actors come together in something like a panel or some sort of interview and we get to see the dynamic off screen and it's something that can be really unique. And recently the cast members of the various MCU Disney Plus shows that have aired this year came together to do a really unique interview with Variety and along the way there were some hilarious moments where you can really see the actors from the Marvel Cinematic Universe truly acting a bit like family. So we wanted to look at some of these hilarious moments that showed up during this interview because it just kind of shows how interesting it is when you have this dynamic of the cast that kind of have tight relationships with each other coming together in something like a video conference. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Starting things off, there was this really unique moment that popped up where Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan were talking about the interview process and Sebastian Stan mentioned how a lot of the times he feels like he's paired up with Anthony Mackie to maybe speak a bit for him. And Elizabeth Olsen jumped in talking a bit about how maybe Sebastian Stan is like the little brother where Anthony Mackie speaks for Sebastian Stan and some chaos kind of ensued. <sighs> See, You're like this the is little why... brother and the big brother just like. Why am I not the little brother? How, how do you say, Lizzie, I might be the little brother. How about that? I think you're the big brother and Sebastian likes to let his big brother talk talk so that he can just Oh, kind of Lizzie, I'm not so happy you're like Also during this interview there was this really funny moment where it kind of was brought up the dynamic between the group. And Paul Bettany made the joke that they live like the band The Monkeys and write music together. And that just kind of started breaking the ice in this dynamic with the group where they really started just kind of letting loose and having a really good time together that was really interesting to see. Other than this virtual discussion today, how often have the five of you like been in the same room together to interact with each other? Oh, always. We live together like the monkeys did. <laughs> They continued to laugh and joke about some stuff and Paul Bettany even went ahead to joke about whether or not they grow kale and Anthony Mackie was against it and it's just really funny how this ended up playing out. I had we were making banana bread, banana bread together during the pandemic and like growing kale like everybody we're, else. We're definitely not growing kale. Just stop it. <laughs> that is the trash leaf. Oh my that is God. the trash leaf. No more kale talk. I just no. eat blueberries this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Later on in the interview, they were talking about the different types of processes that go into building the Disney Plus series. And the conversation of a class that Tom Hiddleston actually taught for the production team who was working on the Loki television series came up and some people were maybe a little bit upset they did not get an invite to the class. I understand that for you, you even taught like a Loki 101 course to the, the creative leaders of your We were show. not invited. We that. were not invited. <laughs> Let us say, Sebastian and I um, were, were on the lot and we were not invited. There was a, whisper, a, there was a whisper about it. There, everybody was talking about it. And supposedly this class ended up being something like a six hour symposium, which is kind of funny to look at. And just in general, the dynamic of this group coming to this realization was pretty great. Tom Hiddleston gave a six hour symposium about- Why were we not invited? And we Why? were not invited. We were all on the lot. Yeah, yes, yes, we were all on the lot. Three of us were on the lot. Sebastian and I, they made us work. They they scheduled one of our biggest scenes so we could not sneak out and and crash the Tom Hiddleston symposium. There was some really good moments overall in Variety's interview. They did a great job at hosting this and going through all of the little details that go into the Disney Plus series. But there was, of course, this funny moment where Paul Bettany even questioned if whether or not Tom Hiddleston, when 
hosting a Loki class uses a certain type of laser pointer. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. Did you have a laser pointer or like a, <laughs> like a telescopic thing that you could point at? You he gave I a six hour know. symposium about Loki. Go. Yes, Tom, we're listening. <laughs> there was there was a whiteboard. I'm a, I'm a... <laughs> Now we know that oftentimes when cast members are in the MCU, they have this huge stress of having to keep spoilers under wraps for a long period of time. And there was this interesting discussion of Elizabeth Olsen, who has had a track record of maybe sometimes letting things out in the spoiler territory, talking about her strategies for keeping things under wraps. How do you guys feel about it? I tell everyone in my personal life, and I tell no one in the press. Do you trust the people in your personal life? Yeah, I trust them <laughs> with things that happen in my life that don't get out in the press. So yes, I trust them with Marvel news. <laughs> There was also this great moment where we get to see Anthony Mackie kind of mock the way that Elizabeth Olsen was talking or explaining the process and the feeling of being on set for a show. Um, so I, I think that's a great benefit to being a part of such a huge international franchise. Genuine. <laughs> Way to go, genuine. And then almost in a fashion that you would see out of actual siblings just bickering and arguing over something so nuanced, the debate over which television series on Disney Plus had the best crew came up and seemed like everyone went to bat for their own show. Uh, that was that we were taking out the first slot and put in the second slot because I feel like WandaVision was so amazed in because it really set the vocabulary for what Marvel was going to do in the streaming universe. You know, and when you saw that show, how unique it was, how different it was, how beautiful it was, how the performances were so great, and how it still stood the test of the cinematic universe, it kind of made the audience fall in line to the new scope of what Marvel was going to be. But it seemed like that sibling-like rivalry didn't end there, where we actually saw a little bit of a debate or a comparison competition as to who gets to talk to Kevin Feige the most in the group. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. How many times during your shoot did you talk to Kevin Feige, Tom? A couple of times. I mean, because of the pandemic, he was in touch about the shutdown and um, so about six. He's months. only asking because Anthony was calling him every Friday. <laughs> We want to give a huge shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, every single Monday we do a challenging Marvel trivia question. So if you guys want to participate, make sure you guys are subscribed here to Film Artsy. Head over to our community tab on Mondays and participate in our Marvel Monday question for a chance to have your comment featured right here on this channel. We also do DC Thursdays if DC is more of your thing and you can still participate by going over to our community tab on Thursdays. So make sure you guys participate if you want a chance of having your comment featured right here. And after they kind of joked around and pled their cases for who gets to talk to Kevin Feige the most, it was interesting because at the very end, Elizabeth Olsen decided to throw Paul Bettany under the bus and his explanation and response was actually pretty great. It wasn't Paul texts Kevin every other day. I'm sure he did. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Paul, is that true? I was booking this trip to Greece and I had to know how much I could spend, you know? <laughs> 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 but that would be amazing if you ask him that, like, Kevin, I'm just on the corner of 6th and 8th, and I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think of these moments from the cast members together? Obviously, they've all had Disney Plus shows that have been pretty big hits so far, and there's no real surprise how successful they've been, but it's cool to see these actors interact with each other. Let us know what your thoughts are though in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every day of the week. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.